Hey, Mike here, um, michaelpitlock.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your um, events on Facebook according to the new changes that we, are, uh, we have to make with Facebook. So what are the new changes with Facebook? Well, what you have to do is, number one, you have to verify your domains. And then you can assign eight events per domain. All right. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, there's two things that you've got to do before you can actually watch this video. The first one is uh, set up your custom domain. Now, this video is going to specifically focus on Kartra, um, but it will work for pretty much um, anything else. But the first thing you got to do is set up your custom domains and um, and verify them. And so I have a video on how to get your custom domains on Kartra probably link that down below and I also have a video that shows you how to verify your domain with Facebook and we look at two different ways two of the three different ways that you can do it um, we use a txt file that you upload to your DNS and we also um, look at the meta tag verification which is really easy and show you how to do that verification on uh, Kajabi all right Anyway, so those are the two things you need to have done before you get into this video, okay? Just to review them, number one, you gotta have your custom domain set up, and number two, you have to um, have uh, your domain verified with Facebook, okay? And so um, another important thing that you need to have, in addition to those two things, is on Kartra, for example, uh, or actually just anywhere like if you're using Kajabi if you're using Kartra if you're using any of those kinds of platforms then you can't use the native domains anymore so for example on Kartra the native domain would be your nickname dot dot com and so you can't use those domains anymore because what you need to do is you need to verify that you own the domains. You don't own a Kartra domain, but you do own the domains that you uh, that you purchase, right? And so every step of your funnel needs to have your custom domain. So that's really important. Um, this is something that I used to not do. Um, I used to buy custom domains just so that I can have an easy to remember domain name when I'm running ads, because when you have the display link, I want that display link on a Facebook ad to be something that's um, easy to remember. Um, and so I would buy custom domains for that purpose, but also I would need to make sure the landing page had that same URL, right? Because I can't set up a, a redirect to somewhere else because then Facebook will reject the ad. And so again, I used to buy custom domains so I can have an easy, a nice domain on the Facebook ad side. And then I needed to make sure the landing page had that same URL, otherwise Facebook would reject my ad. Now after the landing page, I would have just, uh, I, I wouldn't care what the domain is. It would be a Kajabi domain, it could be a Karcher domain, doesn't really matter. But now it does matter. And so what I need to, what we need to do is make sure that your custom domain is applied down your entire funnel because uh, otherwise Facebook won't recognize events from pages that you from from pages and domains that you have not verified all right and it also makes sense that um, what they're doing is they're giving you eight events per domain and so it makes sense that you want to if you want to track you the events down your uh, down your domain or if you want to track the events down your funnel it makes sense that you want to have your funnel have a uniform domain name that way you can uh, have those specific events tracked for that domain inside of Facebook all right and so just to step back really quick what we need to do is make sure you have a custom domain we got to make sure that your custom domain is applied to all the pages in your funnel and number three we got to make sure that you have verified your domain now, I, again, I have videos on setting up a custom domain in Kartra, and I have a, ver a video on how to verify your domain. What I'm going to show you now is um, how to make sure that your custom domain is applied down the funnel inside of Kartra. So we'll set that up, and then we'll come over to the Facebook side, and I'll show you how to set up the events. So I'm going to pause this and go over to Kartra really quick. 
All right, so here inside of Kartra, let me show you how to set up your custom domain down your entire funnel. And so here uh, under pages, for example, when you go to my pages in Kartra, um, here you can uh, search through your pages by site. You probably know this. And so this is basically just another uh, way of organizing pages within a particular site or within a particular custom domain, for example or a particular funnel, and that's kind of how I organize these. So when I have these different custom sites, they are um, funnels. Okay, so um, let's just show you how to do this. So if I go to an opt-in page, for example, and if I go to get code or link, then uh, if I get the page link, uh, you can see right here, this is a custom domain being used. And if it's not a custom domain being used, if instead it's uh, something like your nickname or your username .carter.com, then the way that you can change the domain for this page is by clicking on the edit URL pencil icon here. And what you can do is just select what domain you want to use with this page. And so right here you can see the native Carter domain for me was zermelomusic.carter.com. Uh, but I can't use that anymore if I want to track things on Facebook. I have to use a custom domain that I verify in order for Facebook to track the events that I want them to track. And so I need to use a custom domain here. And so I'll go ahead and hit the check icon and that will save it. And then what you need to do is do this for every page down the funnel. And so I'll just do it one more time. Now I've actually gone ahead and done this uh, today already but I'm just showing you how to do it now. So we got to get code or link. And then uh, same thing, we'll just click on get link. And you can see here, again, I'm using a custom domain. And then what I need to do is um, make sure that we have the custom domain selected instead of the native domain. And you can uh, add on a, a little subdomain, if that's what they're called, are they called that? I don't know. You can add on a little pathway here, a little custom pathway, or you can use the one that uh, Kartra assigns. It doesn't really matter what happens after the slash. It just matters what your domain is if you want to track this stuff on Facebook. It's got to be a custom domain that you own and verified. Okay? And so, again, you would just do that for all of the pages in the funnel. And that's really important because once you have all the pages in your funnel set up with the custom domain, now what we can do is part two. Part two is setting up events for those custom domains, all right? So now let's go back over to Facebook and let's show you how to do that. So here we're on the business manager. So what we need to do is go to business tools and then we'll go to events manager. All right, and um, at, once we get here, uh, what we need to do is, um, I'm just thinking for a second, we've got to make sure that you have the scripts properly installed to track the pages that you want. All right, and so I actually have a video on this. Uh, so I'm not going to, and again, I'll put that in the description. But what I'm, uh, I'll just show you what that looks like and how you can do it, okay? But uh, quickly. So what we need to do, for example, is when someone opts into um, my form or whatever, what are they going to do? They're going to land on a new page. And so in order for me to tell Facebook, hey, track this person that landed on the page or track this person who just opted in, uh, what I need to do is add a, a code to the landing page or not to the landing page, to the uh, to the thank you page. So traffic comes from Facebook, someone lands on a landing page, they go through a form, and then after they fill out the form, they're taken to a new page. And so what I need to do is add a code onto this thank you page, uh, because if someone lands on this thank you page, that means that they opted in. And so by adding the code on the thank you page, that will then uh, send the event over to Facebook that we had a lead that we had an opt-in okay so I'm gonna show you uh, how to set that up and really quick and so right here this is my opt-in page 
So I don't need to do anything here. So someone's going to click on the show me how button. They're going to enter their email and that's going to take them to the next page. And the next page is going to be this page right here. And this is just a VSL. But when someone lands on this page, that means that they are a lead. And so I need to add a lead event to this page so that when someone lands on that page, it will communicate that lead event back to Facebook. So Facebook is able to track that um, lead event. And so what we'll do is we'll go to um, uh, edit here. So we're going to edit the page and I'm going to show you where you need to add those little scripts. All right. Again, I have a video on this, so I'm not going to go deep into it. I will link, but uh, it's, it's, I think it's good for me to show you what's going on. So here in settings, what we need to do is go to tracking code and we got to scroll down to the Facebook ads tracking code. Now, this all this right here is is your what's called your base pixel okay and so again i'm not going to show you how to get that but get your base pixel copy it in here and then there's one other piece that you need to add and in this case since we're tracking a lead we've got to add in this little script right here and that's going to be the um is basically just going to when someone lands on this page it's going to fire that script and that and firing that script is going to tell facebook that someone is a lead this person is a lead Okay, so it, it triggers that um, it triggers that lead event, and that's really important because we need to start tracking these events per domain on Facebook because we only have eight events that we can track. And so, for example, in this funnel, I'm going to be tracking I think four events. So I'm going to be uh, tracking a lead event. So after someone opts in, I'm going to uh, track initiate checkout. So when someone lands on the checkout page, I'm going to track a purchase event. So that's going to trigger when after someone purchases and lands on the thank you page. I'm also going to trigger or I'm also going to track an upsell purchase. And so if someone ups if someone purchases the upsell, they'll get taken to a dedicated thank you page. And if they land on that thank you page, that will trigger an upsell purchase event. All right. So we're going to have a lead event, initiate checkout event. A purchase event and an upsell purchase event so two purchase events but one of them is going to be for an upsell and again I show you how to set all this up in a separate video but the point that I'm making here is that it's really important to have these uh, standard events set up on your pages because it's required that these are set up in order for you to create the events per domain inside of Facebook okay so we'll go ahead and move on from here um, I'm just going to return to dashboard to get out of here. All right. So now what we need to do is we'll go back to the events manager. And so let's back up again just for a second and talk about what we have need and have to do so far. So first thing is you have to have a custom domain set up, whether you're using Kajabi or Kartra or, or whatever. Got to have a custom domain set up um, because you need to... Uh, let's not go there yet okay you need to have a custom domain set up and two you need to make sure that your custom domain is applied to every page down your funnel all right and the third thing you need to do is make is verify your domain on Facebook so those are the uh, three things that you got to do and um, fourth thing you got to do is what we just looked at which is you got to make sure that the standard events or the proper events are set up on on the uh, proper pages on the appropriate pages down your funnel okay and so once all of that is set up then what you can do is start creating the events per domain all right because now you have verified the domain okay you have a custom domain you verify that domain every page down your funnel has that domain and every page down your funnel is now communicating the appropriate events to Facebook okay so now once we got all that set up now let's go ahead and dive into um, how to set up the events on Facebook so I'm sorry that we're about 15 minutes in but there's a lot of prep work a lot of technical prep work that's required before you can even get this part going okay so what we're gonna do now is come over to um, again one, we're gonna come over to events manager
and we're going to come to this new tab right here. It even says new for you, all right? Aggregated event uh, measurement. So that's what we're going to do right there. We're going to click on that, and we're going to click on configure web events. Okay, this is new. This is all brand new because of um, the iOS updates and stuff. Facebook is changing things up. So when we click on that, whatever link that, <laughs> that was, this is we get to a page where you can now see what domains you need to verify and so you can see I've already verified two domains I've verified getbettermixes.com and I've verified zermelomusic.com and again I showed you how to verify domain in, a dev, in another video all right so next thing we have to do is um, once you have your domains verified then you can start assigning events to them as you can see with getbettermixes.com I have one event assigned right now. With ZermeloMusic.com I have three events assigned right now. And so let's go to GetBetterMixes.com just to show you. You just gotta click on it and it's gonna drop it down and there's a little button that says edit events. So we'll go ahead and click that. It, take, it tells you that it um, once you edit the events and set them up it takes uh, a certain amount of time before they can start uh, working or triggering. And so we'll just say okay and hit edit here. And so this is the new, this is a new page. And this is where you can add events to your custom domain. So I hope you can see why I had to walk through everything just to get to this point. Because we're adding specific events to specific domains. And those domains need to be verified that you own them. And that's why it's really important that you have your that the domains that you own, the custom domains, along every step of your funnel. Otherwise, Facebook's not going to um, not going to track it because you haven't proved that you own the domain. All right, and I think that's I think you know my opinion doesn't matter at all, but I think that's good. Like, why not? Why not make sure that people are owning domain names? And I don't know. Um, so now what we're going to do is add an event. Remember what I told you before that I'm going to track for a lead event. I'm going to track for initiate checkout. I'm going to track for a product purchase, and then I'm going to track for an upsell purchase. So what I'm going to do right now is add um, an initiate checkout event, okay? And I'm not sure if it says this, but right here it says you can optimize for up to eight events. And so we can only choose eight events, okay? But we'll go ahead and add event here, and we got to choose the correct uh, pixel. And then um, right here, this is where we're able to choose what event we're going to track for. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit submit down here. I'm going to hit apply. Okay, and there we go. And so you can see now getbettermixes.com uh, is domain verified, and it has two events. So I'm going to go back to edit events because I got something I got to tell you. But uh, check this out. So what you could do is actually set the priority of these different events. Okay. And so uh, for me, the most important thing is going to be the lead event. Even if my campaign objective is to get a purchase, I still like to optimize for leads. And the reason is because even though a lead might not buy, this is kind of outside the scope of the video, but even though a lead might not necessarily buy that purchase, I still want to capture as many leads as I, poss as I can because even though they might not purchase that product that I'm down the funnel, um, obviously I can still uh, market to them or email them or communicate with them over time. And so it's more important to me that I optimize my campaigns for getting leads because I'm and thinking in terms of lifetime value than simply trying to optimize a funnel for a specific purchase event. It's more important for me to get the leads than it is really to get that specific purchase event. And so my highest priority here is going to be the lead. Now uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure why they're, they even have this priority. I mean, if you're able to just optimize for eight events, then I'm not understanding why that priority is a big deal. Maybe uh, I'll, I'll read a little bit more about that, but here's a little icon right here. So right here at the end it says when a customer takes several actions during a web session only the corresponding event that's highest priority will be sent to Facebook for conversion 
So I'll have to do more uh, research on that. But uh, for me, at least I know that the highest priority for me on all funnels is going to be a lead event. That's going to be it for me. Okay, now here's another thing. You can see when I uh, clicked on this, we only have two events that we can choose. We can choose initiate, checkout, and lead. And you might be wondering, well, what about the purchase events? Okay, those aren't showing up. And this was freaking me out earlier because before I was trying to add an initiate checkout, but it only was showing me a lead event. And I was like, why, where are the other things to optimize for? And the reason is, is because I, um, two reasons. Number one is, remember I told you I, I changed my uh, pages to reflect the custom domain. And so uh, what I had to do is I changed the custom domain and then I needed to uh, go to that page to trigger the standard event for that specific domain. Okay, so let me show you what that means. So coming back over to Kartra, let me go to the checkout page here. So we'll go to get code or link. And so um, what I'm telling you is that this page, this right here, this is obviously my custom domain. And so in order to Facebook, in order for Facebook to recognize this domain, obviously I need to tr I need to trigger the event. And so uh, um, that's set up on the page. And so let me show you that event that's set up on the page. So before Kartra was sending a uh, initiate checkout event to Facebook and Facebook was recognizing that it was coming from Kartra, okay? But now what I need is I need Facebook to recognize that it's coming from a domain that I verified, okay? And so what, though, in order to do that, I needed to change the custom domain on the page or change to the custom domain on the page. Then I needed to simply load the page so that once that page is loaded, now Facebook receives the initiate checkout event from that domain that I have verified. So I hope that makes sense, but I'll say it probably 20 more times until it makes sense. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna edit the page just to show you um, the, the standard event that is being sent over to Facebook on this page. So if we come over to settings again, and we go to tracking code, and I um, and I scroll down the base pixel code here. You'll see that I've added the initiate checkout. Okay, and so when someone lands on this page, what that little script there is going to do with that little code is going to send uh, is send information to Facebook saying, "Hey, someone is initiating a checkout." And the problem that I was experiencing was that Facebook was receiving that initiate checkout event from a native Kartra domain. And what I needed to do is I needed to have Facebook receive that initiate checkout event from my custom domain. And so um, I hope that makes sense. And so in order for Facebook to receive the event from the custom domain, the only thing you have to do is basically load the page. So I don't, I'm not sure why this is taking so long here. All right, so let's get this. And so I'm gonna copy the URL and I'm just gonna simply go to the URL. So here we are on the checkout page. Now, if I go to the Facebook helper tool up here, you'll see that the Facebook pixel helper uh, shows that the initiate checkout event is being fired from this page. And so that means that Facebook is now getting the initiate checkout event from my custom domain. So you can see right here, from this domain, getbettermixes.com, uh, Facebook is now receiving that initiate checkout event. All right, and so that's really important. And so that's really important because you won't be able to, um, you won't be able to select the different events over here. You won't be able to select these different events until Facebook actually receives an event from your custom domain. So I hope that makes sense. So that's how I'm able to now have this initiate checkout dropdown because I triggered the initiate checkout from my custom domain, Facebook recognizes it, and now it gives me the option to add that as an event under this custom domain, okay? So, like I said before, well, what about the two other events that I'm gonna do for this funnel? So I have the main product purchase event and I have the um, upsell purchase event. 
And so I need to do exactly what I just told you. I need to go over to Kartra and I need to fire the, the uh, script from the page on um, my custom domain, from my custom domain. So we'll go ahead and exit here. And what we'll do is we'll go to the site. And so now I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the page that fires the um, code that fires the event or sends the event over to Facebook that someone purchased the main product. So after someone purchases the main product, the th next page they go to is going to be the upsell page. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the upsell page here and just show you that I have the purchase event on the upsell page. And that purchase event tells Facebook, hey, someone purchased the main product. So I'm going to go to settings. We're going to go to tracking code. And down here, if I scroll down the base pixel code, you'll see that I have the purchase event here with the currency and the value. And that's being sent over to Facebook. All right. And so that's good. So I'm going to go to publish live. And you'll see that, like I already, I told you, I already changed the, uh, changed this to my custom domain. So now what I need to do is I need to copy this and I need to load the page because then that means Facebook is going to receive a purchase event from this specific page. Okay. And uh, from this specific page, from this specific uh, custom domain. And once Facebook receives that event from this custom domain, it will give me the option to add that event inside of the um, uh, inside of here, inside the events manager, inside the web event configurations. All right, it'll let me uh, once I trigger the purchase event on this custom domain, uh, on this custom domain right here, then it will uh, pop up a new uh, option here that says purchase. All right, and so um, one thing that I'm thinking though ahead is that. It doesn't let me do imagine if I had two purchase events this is see this is new thing this is a new problem I'm coming across if I have a new purchase event so I'm gonna have a purchase event for my main product and I have a purchase event for my upsell but it doesn't look like I'm able to distinguish which is which here and so that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to uh, deal with later on but for now all that I want is I want to at least track the purchase of the main product. All right. So let's come back over to Kartra. I'm going to come over here. We're going to copy this, paste it. And by simply loading this page, once again, it's going to send the purchase event over to Facebook. And so we can check the Facebook uh, pixel helper here. You can see we have a purchase event and the uh, value is 97 currency USD. But now, what just happened is Facebook now received the purchase event from this custom domain simply by loading this page right now this custom domain just sent that purchase event over to Facebook and so um, just to show you that let's come back over to the events manager and we'll go to uh, a purchase event here so right here on purchase event Let's go to, hold on one second. Yeah, let's go to view details. So I'm not 100% sure why that's not being tracked right now. Okay, whatever, all right. But I know that the, um, I know that it was triggered. So let me show you um, something else, for example. So with this initiate checkout, so this is something that we set up earlier with the initi initiate checkout here. If I go to view details, then you'll see right here, getbettermixes.com, it received this data from earlier tonight. All right. And so uh, that's why I was able to set it up. And so all I'm showing you here is we already checked to make sure that Facebook is getting the event from the Facebook uh, pixel helper. But what we can also do is come into Facebook and check to see if Facebook actually logged the event. And this is really weird. I'm not sure why the purchase events aren't showing up, but that's something that I'll just have to figure out. Okay. Um, 
cool and so of course now what we need to do is just come over to the aggregated uh, event measurement we'll go to configure web events and I'm going to come over here because remember now I'm trying to add the purchase event from the main product so let's go ahead and add an event and we'll go to purchase and choose event now you'll see that the purchase event is not there and that's what freaked me out earlier okay but the thing is it just takes time it takes time for Facebook uh, to receive uh, the uh, event and then it takes time for it to give you the option to add this as an event all right let's just refresh this page really quick to see if that does anything all right just realize it takes time and so um, you might be doing everything right it just takes a little bit of time before something shows up but you can still see that the the purchase event is not there but maybe in a couple hours it will show up and so I will be able to select a purchase event uh, in this domain so that I can track the purchase of my main product all right but um, that's pretty much it that's how you edit the web event configurations with the new Facebook changes um, once again you've got to have a custom domain you got to add that custom domain across your entire funnel because Facebook is only going to accept data from you uh, after you um, from custom domains that you have verified so that's the third third thing you got to do you've got to verify your domain fourth thing is you got to make sure that all the standard events are properly set up on your pages down the funnel and then you got to make sure that you trigger those events so that Facebook uh, recognizes them coming from the, your custom domain and once you have all that set up then you're able to come into the edit web event configurations here and you're able to add uh, specific events to your custom domains to the domains that you have verified inside of Facebook uh, and then that's it and then um, to be honest I don't know what really is gonna happen after this I don't think anybody knows really because um, right now I'm still able to optimize ads based on um, custom conversions that I created which are no longer going to be active after the changes roll out and so I'm not even sure how I'm gonna use this quite yet once the changes roll out it's probably gonna be really similar um, so if you're gonna create like a conversion campaign then uh, obviously you're gonna want to optimize for maybe a specific domain and then maybe a, a specific event within that domain and so what it'll be able to do is it'll, it'll be able to see which domain you're trying to optimize for and then it'll give you a list of your eight events that you can optimize for and then you select the event that you're trying to optimize for that I'm just guessing on what it's gonna look like I don't think anyone knows at this point what it is gonna look like uh, but that's just my guess but having this all set up is gonna make it a lot easier once those changes roll out for you to just keep on getting your ads going um, so you don't have uh, headaches down the line yeah so thanks for watching I hope that it was helpful if you have any questions leave them down below now I am a Kartra affiliate so uh, like always if you're watching this you probably already have Kartra but just in case you don't and you've made it this far uh, I do have an affiliate link down below in the description I will get a small commission if you sign up and start using Kartra from there I think it's a great program I think you'll really like it it makes the custom domains thing actually really easy which can be a huge tech pain in the butt but it makes it really easy all right so Kartra affiliate link down below if you're interested in uh, trying it out it's a free 14-day trial but thanks for watching this video I hope you uh, I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.